Hello, this is Colette from Jimbury Play Music in Seven Oaks. Welcome to Jimbury Play Music at home. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands like so. And then we'll reach and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone, now you're here, let's have some fun, yay! So we're going to get ourselves all warmed up and ready to play with some singing first of all. We're going to do a little song called Jump For Me. So we're going to hold little ones up onto their feet, they might be bearing their own weight or you might have to hold them up a little bit. We're going to see if we can encourage them to jump up and down. So we're making sure that their feet come back to touch the floor so they get that idea of jumping and hopefully also they'll start to move their own legs and push themselves off into a jump. We'll go jump, jump, jump for me. Jumping is fun. You will see jumping high and jumping low. A jumping, jumping, we will go. Yay, well done. Then we're going to do our song Babies in a Row. So we need little ones laying down for this one if they're happy to. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sing Here Lie Our Babies All in a Row. We're going to see if we can stretch their arms up and then we're going to touch our toes. So what we're going to do is we're going to encourage little ones to sit up and touch their toes. We're then going to have a little rock rocking our bodies from side to side and we'll lift them up, fly through the air as we go for a ride. Let's have a go, ready? So we'll sing. Here lie our babies all in a row, stretching our arms up and touching our toes, rocking our bodies from side to side. Fly through the air as we go for a ride. Wee! Well done! So today we're going to be working on little one's strength. So working those muscles in their arms and legs and also their core strength as well to help them with their balance. So we're going to use um, something uh, a little bit higher than them so they can do some pulling up. So this might be um, your sofa, a bed, maybe even a, a radiator on the wall, obviously if it's nice and cold, nice and cool. Um, so we're going to see if we can encourage little ones to go from a sitting or a kneeling position, reaching their arms up onto the higher surface and then using those muscles in their arms and in their legs to pull themselves up to a standing position. So all you're going to do is just to be there just to stop them from falling, just to make sure that they're nice and supported, but you're not gonna lift them yourselves. You're gonna make sure they use their own mess muscles in order to lift their own body weight. So lifting up, reaching up, and pulling themselves up to a standing position. They might not yet be going to a standing position, in which case they might just want to go up to the knees, which again, of course, absolutely fine, still working those arms and those legs. It's also a good idea to try and encourage them to sit back down again. They're still going to be using muscles as they come back down, because they're going to need to learn to control that rather than just flopping down to the floor. So climbing up and down again to work those muscles. If you don't have anything around that they can hold on to, you can of course just use your own hands and encourage little ones up. So again, we can see if they can use your arms to bear their weight and pull themselves up to a standing position. And then of course, back down again to sitting or kneeling where they started from, controlling those muscles. Okay, have a little go working those arms and legs and work up that strength. We can work some upper body strength here using a, a nice big ball. So you might have something like a birthing ball laying around at home, in which case this is a really nice thing for you to be able to use in order to do this activity. So we're gonna pop little ones on their tummies and we're gonna do a little bit of rocking backwards 
and forwards. So of course, doing tummy time is a really good way to help the upper body strength anyway, but they're also going to have to use those muscles in their upper body that little bit more, because every time they come forward, they're obviously going to be going off their natural center, and they're going to have to lift themselves up a little bit higher in order to see you. So you're going to stay in front of them, make sure that they feel nice and secure and safe, and you can also give them a nice kiss every time they come forward. So we can go back and back, back, make it nice and playful for them. So they don't realize that they're doing some hard work here. They're really working those muscles. They just think they're having a nice little rock and lots of fun on top of the ball. Good job, everyone. So we're gonna do a little song to help with the little one's strength this time. So this is a song called Sway, Sway. Now we're gonna hold them in the rugby ball hold. So you're gonna have your uh, arm underneath their, supporting their head and their uh, tummy, and then your other hand underneath supporting them as well. And we're gonna have a little rock from side to side as we sway, sway, sway. And then you're gonna gently lower them down, head first, down to the ground. And what we're trying to see if we can get them to put their hands down in order to support their own weight upside down. All right, let's have a little go. So we'll go sway, 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 sway. Now reach up into the sky. Then falling like the snow down to the ground. Very good. Let's have another go, ready? Sway, 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 sway. Now reach up into the sky. Then falling like the snow down to the ground. Good job. Ramps are a great way for us to work on our little one's strength. They really help, uh, especially when we're working on tummy time, to help them to work those arms and that hold of their upper body. So we can do this, we're using ramps, so you might have some sort of a ramp at home that you can use anyway, or maybe you could try and make one, so perhaps getting a bit of cardboard and popping it onto a surface with one, one end higher, another end lower. You don't want it to be too steep, um, just a nice gentle gradient for little ones to work on. So popping little ones onto their tummies and seeing if they can lift their upper body up. So using the ramp is gonna help them because they can see what it is they need to do. Their, their head is already elevated higher than their feet. So they get the idea of having to push themselves upwards and using those muscles in those arms and all across the shoulders and the neck as well. To give them an even bigger challenge, we can turn them around. So we've got gravity working against your little one now. So they've really got to push, really got to work those arms in order to get that upper body up and off of the ramp. So either up or down working those uh, upper body muscles. Of course, if they're crawling, we can crawl up and down the wedges. So that little bit of a slant is going to really work those muscles as they've got to climb up working against gravity. Again, same thing coming down. They've really got to work that upper body to make sure that they don't flop downwards. You're obviously going to be there to help them, but using that upper body strength to control their movement as they go from the higher point to the lower point. So have a little go creating a ramp if you're able to. Jimbo, Jimbo, little clown. First you're up, and then you're down. Where's he gone? Hiding in your little house, quiet as a little mouse. Jimbo, Jimbo, little clown. First you're up, and then you're down. Oh, where's he gone? 
come out, Jimbo. Knock, 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 knock. Ooh. <gasps> there he is. So everyone, we're going to do our Jimbo dance along with our friend Jimbo. So as always, grown-ups, you are welcome to join in with this one if you'd like to. So for our first movement, we're going to be taking little ones up and down. You can choose whether you would prefer to lift little ones up and down, or maybe just raise their arms up and down. Or if you want to just sit and watch, that's okay too. Should we have a go? Are you ready? We'll go. Jimbo the clown goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Jimbo the clown goes up and down all day long. Now side to side. Jimbo the clown goes side to side, side to side, side to side. Jimbo the clown goes side to side all day long. Let's twist. Jimbo the clown goes twist, 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 twist. Jimbo the clown goes twist, 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 all day long. Peekaboo. Jimbo the clown plays peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Jimbo the clown plays peek a -boo all day long. Now very quiet. Jimbo the clown says shh, 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 shh. Jimbo the clown says shh, 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 all day long. Let's wave bye bye. Jimbo the clown says bye bye bye. Bye bye bye, bye bye bye. Jimbo the clown says bye bye bye. We'll see you all next time. Should we say bye bye to Jimbo? Bye Jimbo. Ooh. He's gone back to bed. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Let's clap our hands. We take our little hands and clap, 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 clap. We take our little hands and clap, clap, clap. It's time to say goodbye. And we wave our little hands and say bye, 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 bye. We wave our little hands and say bye, bye, bye. It's time to say goodbye. Now, I think you've all done a fantastic job playing with Jimboree today. Let's give ourselves a great big Jimboree cheer. Can you help me by doing some banging? Here we go. I feel great. I feel fine. And I've had a lovely time with my family and friends. Here at Jimboree, won't you say three cheers with me? Let's do three big cheers after three. We'll go one, two, three, hit 